A BRICS foreign ministers meeting has been held in Beijing. The meeting focused on economic, political and security issues, international and regional hotspots and BRICS cooperation. Foreign Minister Wang Yi has held talks with his counterparts from Russia, Brazil, India and South Africa. They have taken good photo and also attend the opening ceremony of the meeting. Foreign Minister Wang Yi said that China is willing to strengthen cooperation and solidarity with emerging economies and developing countries to forge a very important platform for South-South cooperation. In recent years, many people doubt about the development prospects and the growth impetus of the BRICS, saying the BRICS has already lost its luster and no longer been the good place for investment. During the joint press conference held by the five foreign ministers, I raised a question to Foreign Minister Wang Yi and asking him about his response to this comment. He believes the emerging economies represented by the BRICS countries still playing a very important role in the international political and economic affairs. Let's take a listen. Although there are different viewpoints, still BRICS cooperation is an eye-catching one in today's international arena. And it also shows the international community places high hopes on BRICS cooperation. Whether or not BRICS is fading, China believes the best attitude is that seeing is believing. Let me show you with some basic figures. According to IMF statistics, during the past 10 years, the total economic volume for BRICS accounts for 23% of the world's total, instead of 12% in the past. And the BRICS countries contribute over 50% to global economic growth. All countries should recognize the fact that BRICS countries are making greater and greater contributions to the global economic development. This year marks the beginning of the second decade of BRICS and China takes up the rotating presidency. Foreign Minister Wang Yi said China will well host the ninth BRICS summit and take the Xiamen meeting as an opportunity to work with other BRICS member countries to review the experience, plan the future and usher in the second golden decade of the BRICS cooperation. Su Yuting, CGTN, Beijing.